Portugal to the Indy in Brazil. A weekly show by Geisa Fernandes. Episode 22. It's all about self-esteem and organization. Hi there. If you've been following this show, you probably heard me already talking about mindset and how important it is to organize yourself. Well, I guess that goes for everybody, but especially if you're an indie artist and want to make the best of your time. Want to know what makes me really crazy? It's this thing of not having a um, weekend like normal people do. We are basically always working. And even if you say, oh, no, no, but last Wednesday I was there in the middle of the week uh, attending a concert. But probably, if you're an indie artist, you've been there with the mind of an indie artist, that is, you've been paying attention to each and every detail on the show, on the stage, the performance. Oh, the list is long and quite exhausting. So, again... Even in your free time, you're working. Okay, but how about the glamour side and the fame and, you know, signing autographs and all those things? It's pretty awesome as well. Sure thing. One of the positive aspects is, indeed, getting to know a lot of people and finding out some amazing contacts that are more than just some people you've been working with. Unlike bureaucratic office work, we get to be more flexible. We get to choose which kind of work we are doing. And let's be sincere, going to a concert on a Wednesday night, it is work, all right, but it's still pretty awesome, especially if compared to the weekly routine of the big majority of the world's population. Think about that. What I'm saying is that if you get yourself organized, you can turn the situation in your favor and find out quite a bright side of this flexible, okay, sometimes too much flexible working hours that artists slash indie artists usually have. Okay, but what about the self-esteem part? Let me give you an example. I'm organizing this gig for next summer, and for me it's a big thing because it's going to be in the U.S., and so kind of international debut for me. It's going to be the release of a nippy called So Now, so you just have to Use your favorite searching engine to find more about it. So now by Geisa Fernandes. And I have to make this email exchange with people responsible for the booking. Nothing special, you know, just having the date of the gig confirmed and details, rider, things like that. But the fact is, and this is a very hard and bitter truth that I have to confess, in one of those emails, my contact started, well, the first sentence of the email was, well, I'm sorry for the situation in your place, meaning the military intervention we are having right now in Rio de Janeiro, which is actually really a pretty sad thing. But the fact is, I clicked on the email, opened the first sentence, I read is, I'm sorry. And then my brain, in an amazing speed, goes on, on a very poisoning, negative sequence of thoughts that end up in, I think the gig has been cancelled. Something must have happened and they had to cancel the gig. I mean, having a gig cancelled. It's not the nicest thing that can happen in the life of an indie musician, but it's also not the end of the world. 
And I mean, it was not even the case. The person was just mentioning a comment from a previous email when we started talking about politics. The point here is, your brain might be very, very tricky and boycott yourself. And that happens to each and everyone. You know, it's a kind of instinct thing. We try to find our comfort zone and we tend to get pretty attached to it. It's hard to move to the next level. And if your favorite direction is up, then you double or triple the level of difficulty, my dear listener. But never let such difficulties that, by the way, you are already aware of, to become a matter of expecting failure. And it goes the other way, of course. Never take success for granted. What you can take for granted is your capacity and your motivation for making everything that's necessary to make a gig, an EP, a recording, a video, just name it. A serious, well-done piece of your work. Something that you can be proud of. And, yeah, put that in your curriculum and let's move on. There is no such a thing as a comfort zone. So, even if you think, I suck, do not let it be your comfort zone. Do you know what I mean? In other words, when you get an email and the first sentence is, I'm sorry, don't take for granted it's bad news and don't take long to read the next line. It might be a very nice surprise. And as a final treat... Let's listen to a very beautiful song from Hermeto Pascual named Bebe. Bebe is the Portuguese word for baby. Originally, it's an instrumental-only tune, but my dear friend Marcelo Leon has written some lyrics to it, what is quite an achievement because the song is long and very sophisticated in its harmony, so it's genius stuff, basically. And the music... Just like anything from Hermito Pascual, is pure enchantment. Enjoy the moment. Till next week. And for now, um beijo.
How to be Indie in Brazil A weekly show by Geisa Fernandes <música>